Welcome to today's video. Today I am using my red clay and I am going to make a candle holder in uh, the old Swedish, Swedish traditional way. For this I am going to roll out my red clay into a snake and I'm just cutting off three equal sizes of the snake for each of the candle holders that I want to make and I'm going to make two of them so six pieces for me. Then I am going to roll them into small balls and I'm using three as I said for each of these candles. Then I am rolling my red clay into a bigger cane and I'm cutting off two equal pieces here for the top part of the um, candle stick things, candle, candle holder. I don't know the word for that, but this piece where you put in the candle. Then I am flattening out the top of this bigger bowl and I'm using a cotton swab. This one is made of plastic, otherwise it won't work. And I'm using that to make sure that the hole for my candle is big enough. When I'm happy with the shape, I'm just placing it here on the cotton swab to make sure it stays like I want it to. I am going to use a tiny bit of some bacon bond here to make sure everything is very nice connected. Then I'm just taking a tiny bit of that and placing on the bottom of this bigger uh, orb with the hole for the candles in. And I'm just making a tiny ring here on the bottom and placing it on top of the three smaller balls like this. That's all there is for the candle ear or the candles. It's not a candle ear. I don't know the word for this, so help me out, please. Um, but that's it and I'm gonna do the same with this one and then bake it. And here they are bacon and nicely ready for the next step. I made a 3D file of these. They are a tiny bit bigger but I made these from the original measurements that I found online so mine was actually a tiny bit too small. Now I'm using the cotton swab and I am cutting pieces in around a centimeter um, I tried out with uh, one and a half centimeter as well, but they are a bit too tall for the candles. Um, I'm gonna show you right here the difference. So first I'm showing you how they look with the one centimeters in here. And that is actually looking pretty nice in the size. And as you can see here. Then I am going to swap to the 1.5 centimeter uh, in the length and uh, that is just to show you the different size here. You can do it with these bigger ones but I think they are kind of too big for the candle ear or the little candlestick, sorry about that. I'm using a piece of black sewing thread and some wood glue and I'm just giving this piece of sewing thread wood glue down the whole way here of the string and I'm just gonna leave it to dry so I get this long stiffer string of um, the black here and I'm cutting off tiny pieces for the wicks and just making sure they have the length that I like them to be in there we go then I am using my Fabri-Tec glue to put a tiny tiny bit of glue into this piece of cotton swab here in the hole of it. That is the reason why you need the one that is plastic because the uh, paper ones won't work like this. Placing the wick into the glue just like that and I can use a tiny bit of the glue from the Fabri-Tec here to make some drips down the uh, candles making it look really nice. Leave that to dry and you need to uh, let it dry all the way up before you continue. When they are all dry you are going to paint them. You can use whatever color you want to for these candles 
but as this is a Christmas thing, I am going to paint mine white because I think red candles for a red candlestick is a bit too much red. I took my time with painting the, these candles uh, and I let it dry and then painted it one more time to make sure it was all opaque. When the paint was all dry, I took these small um, green leaves that is a cane that I made a few years ago. I will put a link for that in the info box below so you can find out how I made these. And I'm just carefully gluing them around this little candle one by one all the way around the candle. So I did this on all my candles, so they all had this nice greenery on them. And then I have these small gold um, uh, micro marbles, I think is the name for those. And I'm just placing a tiny bit of glue on the leaves and popping around three of these micro, micro marbles on here. And I'm doing it on two different spots on there. And that is all there is for this little candle with the uh, candlestick in there. And I hope you really enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun making these. So that was it for today. I will see you again tomorrow. So happy crafting. <laughs>